One of the things that was really making me chuckle today, knowing that we had the Bedford Blues, I could just imagine this sort of headline, if you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. And there were these professional athletes toasting marshmallows, making s'mores, and then of course having loads of fun on the water. It was sort of a water sports extravaganza. And one of the things that was brilliant, they were definitely out of their comfort zone. There was a few looking a bit nervous. And then we got into front flips. How many people can you get on a giant paddleboard? Into paddling fast, spinning races, races. And the competitive side of that rugby club was definitely at the fore. Safety is always a priority for us at Canoe Trail because ultimately it's what we have to do. We're in the outdoors. We're often taking people to the edge of their comfort zones. And so we always give a really detailed briefing. Uh, we cover off some of the things that they may expect to happen and maybe some things that won't expect to happen. Uh, and therefore, you know, we're providing this kind of safe laboratory where people can learn and have fun without really worrying. We take care of that for them. Um, we're going to give you a really quick briefing and then get you on the water. Today's really about having fun. The briefing is about being safe. Good thing about Canoe Trail is we literally cater for a few thousand people a year, giving them that personal experience, that rewilding in the natural world. And you can turn up with no experience whatsoever. The team will meet you, greet you, they'll give you a briefing. And within 15, 20 minutes, you're away lily dipping on the tranquil waters of the River Great Ouse. We often call these things sort of wet and wild. And the idea is that people learn in a fun environment and of course safety is a given. So to see the Bedford Blues on pre-season training, having just loads of fun on stand-up paddleboards, something that was new to them. We had giant XL boards down to tandems and four-person boards, and they just got fully involved. So one of the gems that we have here at Canoe Trail uh, along the River Great Ouse is Matchstick Wood, which is our private woodland. We run that in partnership with the Forest of Master Vale, one of those brilliant millennium forests. And it's this natural space teeming with wildlife, with badgers, deer, monk jacks, um, we have otters, and all this sort of wildlife in and around. And we have these very discreet natural clearings and you paddle in by canoe into this little bit of peaceful wilderness and then you make camp and you have that kind of night under the stars and even as we've been filming I've just heard a woodpecker yaffling it's brilliant. Canoe Trail was voted top 52 things to do in the world by Lonely Planet for family activities and one of the reasons for that was this idea that you can have a journey a human powered journey uh, leaving Bedford's Victorian embankment, which is absolutely beautiful, one of only a handful in the country, paddle downstream on this rural backwater and arrive here at Matchstick Wood to set up camp. And of course then, sleeping under the stars the next day, get up, have breakfast and carry on on your journey. And Lonely Planet said, definitely top 52 things to do in the world for families. Last year, we had the same very similar accolade, top three in the UK from Red Bull magazine. And the reason I think is in this digital world, in this world where everyone is frantically busy, we're less than an hour from London. People are coming from all over the UK to enjoy a day trip, an overnight camp, a multi-day paddling trip to just enjoy the river, enjoy the great that is Great Britain. And if this sort of just resonates with you a bit, I'd say don't delay. Just drop us an email. We don't bite. And uh, drop us an email to info at canoetrail.co.uk or check out the website www.canoetrail.co.uk. See you on the water.